Hello, I'm Molden Lesh, and I am very pleased that I am the president of the American Group Psychotherapy Association, and I welcome the opportunity to talk with you a bit and say a little bit about the American Group Psychotherapy Association and hope that I can make clear and transparent what AGPA stands for and how I think this organization can be of utility and benefit to you. I want to say firstly that the world needs more of us. The world needs more groups, they need more group psychotherapy, and they need more AGPA. Why? Because we bring to an understanding of the human condition and social complexity the kind of ways that are required to talk about and work with the things that divide, isolate, and fragment society and make people feel more disconnected. Groups are a powerful social connector, both in terms of treatment and, in particular as well, serving as a community of practice. The group that you belong to when you come into AGPA whether you are joining the organization directly or joining it through a local affiliate society or coming into the organization and participating in one of our many special interest groups, you have a way to be part of a community of practice. The work that we do is incredibly important. It is incredibly difficult at times and a community of practice is a way to be supported and to maintain the capacity to reflect and learn about the work that you are doing so that you're able to do it in the best way possible for the longest period of time possible and to the greatest effect. We know that people benefit from being able to be supported in learning, education, and training, and the AGPA is very much committed to being the resource for that in the area of group psychotherapy. Because of our expertise, we also recognize that we have a duty and a responsibility to contribute to education and training in the field at large, both within our local communities and internationally. As I'm speaking with you now, we are in the midst of offering a series of online groups to our colleagues in China who have been isolated and quarantined because of the coronavirus. 10, 15, 20,000 people are tuning in to these online sessions and we see this as both support, skill building and a way to, to carry forward and propagate the value of group therapy, group therapy thinking uh, locally and globally. At the local level we have become a much more tribal and fractured society. Groups give therapists and their members a way to make sense of it, to speak to it, and have the kind of difficult dialogues around race, identity, culture, gender, gender identity, belonging, let alone issues to do with mental health, that don't happen in the larger community in the way that they need to. We want to be part of the solution that advances that. Thank you.